18, The Escape. The search for Tramalnik's daughter has taken Sandokan and his friends to Delhi, India, where rebel leader Abu Hassan has mistaken them for spies and locked them in a tower dungeon. We demand to speak to Abu Hassan right now! What guy in God have to open those bars for Cam? Sorry, crackers, those bars won't budge. It would take stronger arms than mine. Where's your bigly old when you really need a back on my place of guarding Mariana? It'd even take more than his might to bend those bars. We don't stand a chance. I'm afraid the door's locked up tight. Our only chance is if we can get Abu Assam to listen to reason. When you're ruckus in there, prisoners, you've got a visitor. Just a last look at you treacherous dogs. The great Sandakan is not so powerful now, is he? Better say your prayers. It's your last chance before you meet the fate you so richly deserve. Abu Hassan, that fiend Suyodama has kidnapped Tramalnik's daughter, and the only reason we're here is to rescue her. You've got to believe me, sir. Come now, I'd have expected a much more uh, creative alibi from the Invincible Tiger of Malaysia. You could do better than that. But what Sando Khan says is true, Sahib. You must believe him. Oh, have you no heart, Abu Hassan? Tramalnik's little girl, Shamina, is in terrible danger, sir. Do you take me for a fool? I know what dastardly plots you are hatching. Your death will serve as an example to others like you who try to capture my homeland. Suyodama says you are in league with my enemies. I cannot ignore his advice. This is counsel for which I have paid a very high price. No, there is only one way to thwart your evil plans. The fate of all of you is sealed. Let me go, please. I want my papa. It's amazing that Abu Assam swallowed my story, the silly old fool. He actually believes that Sandokan and your father are his worst enemies. You tell mine. You're a bad man. My dad's gonna be mad at you. Sandokan and your daddy will soon be just a fond memory. By tomorrow at this time, he and all his pirate friends will be food for the vultures. And what's more, Abu Assam will do the dirty work for me. My daddy isn't gonna die. He'll come and get me. Oh. Come on, elephant. Hurry up. You are a fiery little imp, aren't you? No matter, soon we'll reach my temple in Kashmir when you'll give your life to Kelly. You'll make a charming sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Surama, you agreed to accompany me, I mean us, to Delhi, and now look at the terrible situation you're in, and all because of me. Remember, Yanez, no one forced me. I chose to come with you. I know, but still, Surama, I'm sorry. Huh? All that's important is that we're together. Oh, will you listen to that scabby stuff? Oh, come on, cracker, don't you have a heart? If you ask me, I'd say they're sweet on each other. The young lovers died at dawn! <laughs> Humor, prayer, and worry. It seems that each of us faces fear and fate in his own way, Sandokan. Every one of us is different. And to me, Malko's attitude is the most baffling. I bet he could even sleep through an attack of howling diagonals. What a terrible predicament, Santo Cam. Trapped in a tall tower with armed guards outside the only door. We're prisoners. Even if we could break down the door, the guards would shoot us down. And outside the palace... Yes, Abu Assam has posted guards there too. I saw them when I looked down below. Tramal, that leaves us only one hope. Your friend, Vidar. Sandokan, I fear that Suyodama has convinced Abu Hassan that we are villains, and now he will listen to no one, not even his trusted friend Badar. The prisoners shall die at dawn, Badar, and that is final. Suyodama knows them. They have been plotting for years to thwart my plans. But Suyodama is a mercenary, guided by his own greed. He is certainly not to be trusted. The little girl he carries with him is not his niece, as he claims she is. I know for a fact that she's really the daughter of... Suyodama has warned me that you'd side with Sandakan and his scruffy band of pirates. They shall be executed. Pardon me, your worship, but... I don't want another word from you. If you interfere, Suyodama threatens to withdraw his thugs from our service. Without his highly trained thugs to help us in the rebellion, we don't stand a chance of ridding our dear country of its oppressors. Forgive me, Abu Assam, but I think you are blinded by your fears. And you are forbidden any further contact with the prisoners. Stay far away from that tower until tomorrow. Very well, sailor, that ought to hold him. Yes, sir. He won't 
escape. All right, Lady Mariana, I have complied with your wishes and allowed you to see to this lout's wounds. Are you satisfied now? Sambiglion has a fever. He's badly in need of real medical attention. Your concern for this pirate is touching. But since he will be tried and hanged as soon as we reach the island of Labuan, his health is of little importance to me. I have upheld my part of the bargain, Lady Mariana. Now, don't forget your promise to discuss our relationship. Oh, but... Santa Can... Santa Can was, you mean. I have told you that he's probably dead by now, and I see no reason to discuss our personal relationship in front of riffraff like this. I'll see you below deck. Santa Can dead? Could it be true, Lady Mariana? I have learned not to trust anything the Baron says. For now, the important thing is to get you free and away from here, San Biglione. Yes, but how? Here. Just sit quietly and preserve your strength. There's a dinghy just behind you. You'll know when to escape. Once I reach Labuan and reunite Lord Chains with his niece, Mariana, I'll finally be back in his good graces. <laughs> Delivering that pirate outlaw will earn me a commendation for sure. But how to win Mariana? Well, good luck to you, San Biglione. May you reach shore safely and find Sandakan. <laughs> Another masterpiece. Aha, uh -huh. and this must be the prisoner's final meal, I presume. Oh, yes, Sahib Bedar. Even those that are condemned to death deserve my very best. Don't you think so? Yes, but... What? You've forgotten to give them wine. That's most important. Right you are, and I have plenty in the cellar. Pardon me. Oh. <laughs> this should do the trick. Wonderful! Splendid bouquet! Saucy vintage! I think the prisoners will love it, don't you? Oh, very much. I'm sure they'll be most pleasantly surprised. Here, I'm delivering your last meal to you, so eat hearty, you swine! Miller, not I'm hungry. This cake looks delicious. I think I'll start with dessert. I don't know why they call this a pound cake. It weighs a ton. Huh? For once, old friend, I'm glad you bit off more than you could chew. A fella could break his beak on that. Those files are to cut the window bars. Someone is trying to help us get out. Just a minute. There's something else here. Yes, it's from Bedar. He says he'll be waiting down below with the rope. As I suspected, my dear friend will not leave us to die. Come, Yanas, we have work to do. Aye, aye, Zandakan. Well, there's no point in letting this delicious cake go to waste, is there? There's someone coming. I just heard something. Oh! Oh, it's you, Bedar. Hello, sorry to startle you, man. I wasn't expecting to find anyone here. I thought all thugs not fighting the oppressors had gone with Suyudama on a long journey, I think taking the girl, he said, to Madras. To Madras? Well, if I understood him correctly, yes, Madras. He said he was taking the girl there to hold her for ransom. No, Suyudama travels to his temple in Kashmir. Shut up, Krasna! Well, he does. The moon is nearing its first quarter. The perfect time to sacrifice that child that travels with him to Cali. Yes, but so you damn knows no. not when to rest, Krasna. We were told the sacred sacrifice was never to be discussed. 
So Yudama warned us that Badar was not to be trusted, ever. Now he knows too much. Better silence him. Suyudama has taken Tramal's daughter to Kashmir to sacrifice her to Kali. Well... <laughs> you are looking at an extremely wealthy man, little one. First Lord James, the governor of Mabuwan, emptied his coffers to pay me for kidnapping you. And then desperate old Abu Asab gladly filled my pockets to overflowing, merely for delivering my thugs to help him overthrow some government or another. Huh? Oh. You're a greedy, mean old man. If you don't let me go, you'll be sorry. That's a bold threat for someone so small. No, child, I will not be sorry. I am well protected in this temple. You'll be sacrificed as blood, and Goddess Kelly will be seen. <laughs> Hurry, Yemis, your bar is the last one. Almost, Sandokan, almost. There. Crackers, why don't you fly down below and find out what the guards are up to? Great, espionage is my favorite pastime. Ah, I remember you. You're the Sultan. But I'm in disguise. I call myself the Sultan of Bamboozle, but my friends call me Crackers. Here, quickly take the end of this rope and fly to the top of the turret, oh great Sultan Crackers. I think it would be more my style if I grabbed the end of this sturdy hemp and ascended yon tower. Crackers, I could just kiss you. So could I. There was a bunch of those big ugly fungus, but I fought them off. Was Badar down there? Oh, yes, sir. Well, he helped me fight him a little bit. Yanez, you go first. Aye, aye, Thunder Khan. Maybe Sleepyhead over there would like to join us. Malcolm, Malcolm, come on, you're going up now. Nah, finally, it's time to escape, eh, Thunder Khan? Yes, my sleepy friend. I'm sorry to disturb your slumber. Far from India, the peaceful fishermen trawl the seas each day near Sandokan's island of Montpreso. But this particular morning, the old chief fisherman was in for a surprise. Who is that? If I didn't know better, I might think, oh wait, it is. I don't believe it. It's our good friend, Sam Big Leon. Quick, row alongside. Sam Big Leon! Can you hear me, my friend? You'll be fine, Sam Big Leon. Just rest easy. Please wait a minute. The Labuan soldiers invaded Mount Prism and destroyed most of our fleet. Just take it easy, San Miguel. Baron William captured me and sailed away with Lady Mariana. Sandra Cannon asked me to guard her and keep her safe. Don't you worry, old pal. I'm sure you did everything that could be done. You just get yourself well again. Rickler, you come along with us. We'll return to our island of Naj where we can nurse him back to health. I hope he makes it. Yes, but what's become of Sandokan? What are he and his men doing now? Meanwhile, back in India, Sandokan and his friends, aided by Badar, continue their search for Shamina. Badar says this temple of Suyodamas is south of Kashmir. Yes, Sandokan, it sits atop a very holy burial ground. I shiver whenever I think of Shamina at the mercy of Suyodama. I just pray we can find them in time to save Tramalek's daughter. With any luck, it'll be shallow enough for us to cross. Well, it's pretty deep for me. I think I'm gonna need some help to make me taller. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go! Forward, men! Sandokan, behind us! Oh, oh no, a pack of thugs! It's an ambush! The thugs have us completely surrounded!
Vidar! Go on without me. Vidar! Surama, I'm glad you're safe. But I'm afraid Vidar was hit. <laughs> Time to come. Come quickly. Something's happened to Vidar. Vidar will never forget you. You gave your life trying to help me find my poor lost daughter. I thank you, old friend. May you rest in peace, Vidar. Your courage has been an inspiration to us. But we must carry on, lads. Let's make sure Vidar's death was not in vain. No, but you never... The court will come to order. You have been summoned here because my life has reached a turning point, and I don't know what to do. I am badly in need of advice. Okay, you there, your first will, speaking as your logical side. Sandukan has eluded our grasp again, and this is largely due to Lord James, the governor of Labuan, who we had persuaded to help us rid the seas once and for all of that brazen pirate, Sandukan. That's true, it was Lord James's fault, wasn't it? What do you think? I may or may not be your devious side, sire. That's for me to know, and you to find out. Nevertheless, you must be aware that Lord James has outlived his usefulness. He has become long-winded and tiresome. I say we must oust him from his island as soon as is possible. That's good. Interesting. Yes, the governor has made fools of us long enough. He has injured our pride. I think that once Lord James is out of the picture and we're free of his interference, we'll be able to track down Sandikan more easily and make him pay for his repeated insolence. We don't need anyone to help us in our plan. The result, of course, would be that we'd get the satisfaction of doing it all on our own. <laughs> As our greedy side, I must agree, expand our empire. <laughs> Dominate everybody and usurp all their property. Think of the fun we'll have. <laughs> Down with Lord James. Very good, but there's one part of me I haven't heard from yet. Where is my conscience? Oh, look at that. His chair is empty. Don't you remember, sire? You got rid of him years ago. Excess baggage, you said. Enough of this game playing. Let's get on with it. All right, how do you vote? Conquer Lord James! Conquer Labuan! Conquer Lord James and Labuan! Conquer them! Conquer them! Conquer Labuan! Conquer Lord James! No, I've been dreaming again. It must have been something I ate. Nay! Where's the kitchen staff? I want something large for dessert. I'm starving! Back at his palace in Victoria, Lord James feels secure now that he's conquered Mount Prasum. I was knee-deep in crocodiles and papoon, it all seemed lost, but I carved my way through a wall of living luggage, dragging my canoe behind me. Nothing could stop me, and I lost... Easy, sir. I was quite the swashbuckler in my younger days, you know, but that was on active duty many long years ago, way before I settled here in Labuan and became your governor. Those Halcyon days will never come again. We always enjoy hearing your war stories. They get better every time you tell them. <laughs> No, no, I've bored you enough with all this dwelling on the past. Besides, there's plenty right here and now we should really be discussing. There's a big day coming up for the island of Labuan. You mean the homecoming celebration, sir? Hmm, right you are, son. Baron William is due to return with my niece, Lady Mariana, just about any day now. Sure, I admit she's an impetuous young woman, but I vow to forgive her for traipsing off with that renegade pirate upstart, Sandokan. <laughs> She'll come to her senses, and when she weds Baron William, there will be a ceremony in the likes of which Lavoan has never seen. <laughs> Take back your ring, Baron. I refuse to marry you, and that is my final word. But I love you, Lady Mariana. What do you know of love, you and your constant fighting? Mariana, what about my forgiveness? I know you started that fire and helped some big Leon escape. But Lord James doesn't need to know about that. I won't mention it if you'll say you'll be my bride. Tell my uncle anything you please, Baron, but you're the one he'll blame. After all, you were in charge of the ship. San Biglione was your prisoner. You just couldn't handle your responsibilities. San Biglione is likely fish food by now. My only regret is that it wasn't your true love, Santa Khan, who met such a fate. But there's still time yet. Uh. Mm. Mm. You are selfish and spiteful, Baron William. My dear Santa Khan, where are you? We must take them by surprise. It's going to be dangerous in there. For now, Surama, you better wait for us here. The time has come for you to join Kali in the afterlife. <laughs> Thank you.
bellow all you like, there's no one to hear you. <laughs> You first must die! Keep them busy, Yanez. I'm going inside. <laughs> Sue your damage in this temple, I'll fight Good work, friend. Shamina! 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 To the glory of Cali! Send us Nasty thug won't bother you again. Oh, my darling daughter. You saved my child. Your daddy is here. And the others? They're all fine. They're guarding the thugs we've taken prisoner. I showed up. We showed up. It's a great day for all of us. For Santa and Glory! It's Sandy, I know. But which one is Glory? <laughs> The Raja of Sarawak's devious ally, Baron William, is plotting new dangers for Sandokan and his brave band of pirates. Will they defeat the Baron, or will he put an end to their struggle against the evil Raja? To find out the answer, tune in to our next action-packed episode of Sandokan.